Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Wee Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is only the part three of a four part series. I expected this video to be very long. So I have broken it up into multiple parts as there are 24 stations to cover. In today's video, I will cover six stations from Third City, King Albert Park, Maju, Clementi, Jurong Lake District, and finally to West Coast. I've done all the heavy lifting for you. Where to spot the property lobangs? Watch under the end where I have a bonus tips for you. Only if you believe in me, you will surely what in the year of the dragon. Keen to find out more? Let's go. If you can still recall in the part two video of the Cross Island Line, the last station ends at Bright Hill Station. The train tunneling will either go beneath the central catchment natural area and come out from the other side to Turf City. Else, the next alternative is to skip around the area. No decision on the alignment option for the CRL in the vicinity of the central catchment natural area has been made. Anyway, this is massive work involved, especially inside the forested area. Let's give our engineers and those involved a round of applause. <laughs> this is Turf City Station in Pram District 10, Bukit Tima. This station is located in the former Turf City. Since last year, most of the existing tenants in the grandstand have been vacating their premises back to SLA. I happened to drop by and take some photos of this place for memories. I remember coming here for my run. I also miss Ryder Cafe for its ambient, laid-back environment and great coffee. It's kind of sad that this rustic place has been removed from our history once again. But what to do? Singapore have a love affair with properties. As the saying goes, you build and they will come. Coming back to Turf City is a massive prime piece of land. This site stood on the former Bukatima Turf Club and was Singapore's second race course from 1933 to 1999. It has been safeguarded for future residential development since Master Plan 1998. The plan for the area take into consideration the heritage and greenery on site. Selected cluster of former race course buildings and structure will be retained. Core area of ecological value will also be kept. The residential neighborhood will be nested in a green network of parks and recreation space as mentioned in the URA draft master plan for this area. Residents will also benefit from the upcoming Cross Island Line which is expected to be ready by 2032. Sorry folks, no lobang for you here, except for existing landed property owners in this area that will benefit from it. But in the meantime, it will be another 10 years of digging and construction work. Next stop, King Albert Park. This station is located next to the existing KAP station along the downtown line. It's along Bukatima Road and towards Old Holland Road. I love this place very much. Do you know why? I love it not because of the vast empty land, but rather this was the first time I flew a drone out in the open sky when I was attending a Skill Future course conducted by ITE Central. If you are keen to know more, I will leave the links in the description below. Sadly, this piece of land has been rezoned for future high-rise residential homes. If we look into the master plan, URA has already gazetted the plot ratio for all these sites. This means it will be a matter of time before GLS site will be launched for tender. Here, I have a humble suggestion to URA. Please stop long, don't launch all the sites all at once just like in Lantau. Be steady, don't need to kanchiong. Anyway, do you want to make a guess? What is the future selling price for 99 years leasehold condo here? Any lobangs here? I believe most of my viewers here are sophisticated enough to understand my video. I think I better don't say so much. Some commented that after my video went out, property price for that particular condo or area search. Seriously, LME property video got so powerful man. I only got less than 4k subscribers and each of my videos on average only got four to 5,000 views. You all don't carry favor me. Later your property price drop, you say I bring disrespect to the property market. <sighs> Very hard to please all of you. The next station is Maju. It's located along Clementi Road and within proximity to the Singapore University of Social Science, formerly also known as SIM. Niam Polytechnic is also nearby. 
By the way, I'm also a graduate of Nian Poly. It is also near Fai's Florist brand new building. This is the first florist located in a high-rise building in Singapore. If you are nearby, you can drop by to take a look. This is the construction site of the station I took when I was there. Madhu Station will benefit the students in the nearby schools to army boys for Madhu Camp. So next time, going for RT training will be easier for our NS men. This is the future master plan. Clementi Forest has been designated as a residential area. I hope this part of the forest will be retained as long as possible. Hopefully, it can be sensitive preserved to become another future nature park. I believe M Park will be looking into it. Next on the list, Clementi Station is next to the existing East West Clementi Station. This will become another interchange. This is going to be another busy station in the future. The station is sitting on the former Sir Flats along Clementi Avenue 5 and the former Clementi Police Station. Here, who will benefit? Obviously, most HDB owners and DBSS owners in Travelis. To a certain extent, private condo owners in Park Clementis to those landed owners in Faber Estate will also benefit. But those that want the most are still those newer HDB flat owners living nearby. As mentioned many times before, HDB built super nice public flats at affordable price with low fuel facilities. Sorry Hall, HDB doesn't pay me money to sing praise of them. Hopefully, one day when I retire, I hope to stay in a brand new BTO flats as I have never stayed in a new flat before. Don't say I'm not eligible, I still have one chance at buying a BTO flat. This station is near Jurong East Station, but it is further towards the south. It is located at the former Jurong Country Club. It is also near the upcoming Jurong Town Hall Station as part of the Jurong Regional Line. This station is near AYE and there are plans to realign and straighten the AYE. I suppose these plans have been put on hold as of now as the Jurong Lake District is slowly developing. Anyway, if you look into the master plan, these factories along Teban Garden Crescent could be rezoned shortly once the station is in operation. We can also see that there are more residential sites with a 3.5 plot ratio in the west end. This site is currently used as low-rise scrapyards and temporarily used. The authority may have plans to build more public flats shortly since there are no height restrictions in this area. Finally, West Coast Station is located along West Coast Road and West Coast Highway. It's sitting on part of Tangling Secondary School. I find it puzzling. Why don't they relocate the school and build a new campus for them? Any land sitting above or near a MRT station is extremely valuable. Who knows? Maybe MOE is working on it. Anyway, who will benefit from the West Coast Station? HDB owners to condo owners in the park condo and landed owners in Hong Leong Garden will stand to gain handsomely. For those looking at HDB resale flats, these blocks have already been acquired by SLA in the SIR exercise. This means something big is brewing in this location. Could it become the future MRT station for the West Coast extension line as mentioned in my earlier video? I'm optimistic and confident in my assessment. I can feel the pulse of the market as I'm on the ground. Let's see if I can guess it correctly. If you believe it in me and take massive action now, I have this song for you. Let's take a closer look at the master plan to see if there are any more low bumps. It looks like most are private land, else the rest are state land. If you want to buy industrial and play, there are some structured title factories in the Pandan Crescent that you may wish to explore. Can buy or buy buy? Seriously, I don't know. I need to study them, then I will know. By the way, if you need me to analyze any specific properties before you even want to commit, be it residential, commercial or industrial properties, I can do a feasibility study for you from a third party point of view. Since I'm not involved in the deal, and you don't need to worry if I will give you buyer's opinions. This will give you a holistic view of their subject property 
whether it is worth pursuing, you'll be surprised by what I can uncover through my lenses. And if it's involved, brother and sister, confirm chop God. We are in Singapore, where got free things one? If they are free, I'll be even more worried for you because they could be scams. Correct? Here, if you appreciate my hard work, please help me smash the like and subscribe button if you have not done so. That's all. Thank you and see you again.